Pace One said this new song is fire, cuz. Pace One. I know I heard that name, Pace One. Oh shit, that's Pace One. So, nothing about this story will make sense if I don't make it make sense. So, I'm gonna make it make sense. So while this is a funny story, well, really more of a weird story about Pace One here in one of my verses, none of this happens without the homie Oni Salo that I, I believe I met on Facebook. Now while I can't remember exactly how I ended up linking up with 1E1, if I had to take a guess, it would be from a Facebook hip hop, like an underground hip hop Facebook group. So after making contact with 1E1, Shortly after that, he sent me over an instrumental, and that led to me doing a collaboration with the homie Erg7. And we've done at least three songs, but this is the first song we did, the first one that got published. Yeah, hey, no debate, no mistake. I knock you off your rocker, baby. Crocker for the cake. House on the lake. Y'all still fake. I'm a boss. A1 steak, sauce on the steak. And once 1D1 went as far as publishing the music, that really solidified the relationship because I knew he was serious about his craft and had some experience in the game. So that brings us back to the present, right? And that brings us back to the day that 1E1 told me Pace One said this song was fire cuz, what I opened up with. Now you might be asking yourself, who's Pace One? Because I was asking myself, who's Pace One? When I saw the DM, and I'm probably being a terrible hip hop historian. I don't claim to be like really a hip hop historian, really. You know what I mean? So this will make sense. The first time I heard this instrumental, it wasn't even Pace One. I didn't find out it was Pace One song, I Declare War, until today. The first time I heard it, I heard this. Chris Light! I was trying to change, I probably couldn't change. I'm fucked up, man. I swear I'm fucked up. Look at you, you little dirty ass nigga, you ain't shit. I'm glad you're here, though. So you can only imagine how fucked up I was when I found out that that instrumental belongs to this. I have a record I want you to play. Don't you think the kids would enjoy a nice song with a melody? What you got, Holmes? It is a rare, one-of-a-kind, original pressing. 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 This is the world uh, premiere. Yo, 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 pace up, full clip, one up in the chamber, danger, ask you what you want, what's the flavor? So I never heard that song before, and I don't want to be corny, but part of what makes this so interesting is that I'd listened to three or four artists affiliated with Pace One, but they never actually heard Pace One's music. Um, obviously, I know about Rod Digger, and I actually know about Young Z from the 8 Mile soundtrack, but of everybody he was affiliated with, I'd listen to Eminem, obviously, you know, more so than anybody else, and um, he's also... Uh, I learned that Bizarre was an honorary member of the Outsiders. And they ended up having like a rift with Eminem um, once he signed with Dr. Dre. And that's a whole completely different story. But this is what brought me to Pace One. So up until this point, you still don't know what Pace One heard, what song that he thought was fire. So this is the song. Similar to taking the look at my discography. True. I'm a G without the technology. You ain't got the stream. I'ma take your ass out the sea. Follow me. So most of the artists that you collaborate with online, um, being a bedroom producer or a bedroom rapper, bedroom artist, bedroom songwriter, most of the people you collaborate with, they're not gonna have ties or relationships in the industry. You know, they're gonna be SoundCloud rappers. You're essentially a SoundCloud rapper, you're gonna be collaborating with a lot of other SoundCloud rappers, but um that doesn't mean that you won't get those opportunities to work with artists who have some relationships. And because of those opportunities and because of those relationships, you end up in situations like these where you can tell stories like these where I didn't really know much about Pace One. And um, because of the DM that I got from 1E1, it led to me going down this rabbit hole about Pace One. And it's cool. Like, it's cool to somebody that, you know, was... Uh, affiliated with Eminem, recorded songs with Eminem, heard one of my songs, heard one of my verses, and um, thought it was fire. <laughs>